Jupiter Notebook. Jupiter Notebook. Sorting two arrays, median of. So, yesterday, yesterday, we have two sorted arrays, and we want to spend some time not using built-in functions in Python to find the median of the sorted merged array, all right? Why doesn't he uh, oh here or there with no uh, you know what I want? I will show you. I wanted to sort them by the date they were they were uh, you can see like these codes are not sorted based on the name last modifier. I want that sounds no mean medians of two sorted array that's what I want so we use the statistics to find median we use the least so that is the like belting function second one we are using okay we have at least how to find the median not complicated at all the complicated thing is once we have two sorted array, how to find the like how to make how to merge them in a way that it is sorted, right? Um, and it should be O of M plus N by the way. That is an extra oh shoot okay So what do we do? We start which like we have list one, we have list two. List one has a element, first element. If it is less than the let's assume it is less than the set, uh, first element of the list. Then we go to the second element in this one. We check if it is less than this. As long as it is less than the first element of list two, we are going up. We hit we keep this part then we go on list 2 right we go this come on list 2 um, do the same that we do with we did <laughs> so it's not that difficult actually so it's a recursive behavior right we go up to here it is less than. then we come here sorry let me show you like this we go up to, uh, we go up to here, we come here, we go up to here, we come here, we go up to here, we go up to here, we go up to here, right? It's not very difficult, so what we need is actually a recursive function. I want to implement it recursively. So we have two lists, L1 and L2. So I want to define a recursive function. The
Oh, okay. So, we want a function that um, takes two lists and returns another list. Let's do that. Def g as self num one. I want to call it l one. Semicolon, don't forget that. Int. I have to talk louder because AC is on. <laughs> Two. Um, list. Int. And return is a. Uh, L3, sorry, list of int and well, what we want to do here is instead of L.sort is uh, L equals G of num1 num2 uh, l1 and yeah, num1 ok so what does g do? Um, wait a second, should I put semicolon here? definitely um, what does g do? We have two lists. Let's assume the length of the two list One of them is nothing if length Turn L2. I in L1. Let's write it like this. So we are going on uh, L1 starting from the beginning. Assume it is smaller than the uh, L1. If I is less than L2, 1, 0. 
we are going to head another round. So when we stop is when i is greater than. Oh, guys, okay. I have to, I have to take a break because I'm exploding. <laughs> Let me pause this for a second. back to the game um, so okay we want to use the g function l2 l2 is nothing return l1 for now let's see what is l1 right i in l1 if i is less than l2 zero first element in l2 what we want to do is keep them right and all of them I want to add them to S what is S? you may say what is S? I'm here S is an empty list of int and Then I want to say if i is less than L2, s equals s plus i. Exactly. And if i greater than L0 less than or equal I is greater than L0 maybe you should let's, let's trust it and if it's not working we will change if i is greater than L0, we want to switch, we want to say return uh, s s plus the g of L2 now I need the index of now I need the index alright range Less than L two zero. Listen. Uh, now I should say L one I right. L1 of i is greater than L2 0 uh, I want you to return uh, 
We have to fix this part. Let's assume all of L1 elements are less than L20, right? What should we do? If I equals len of L1. Uh, Minus one return. Uh, what we are going to return is L one plus L two, right? change this like every for every I could write let me what I could say if L1 of I less than this I could say uh, something like that but I could also remove the if ones L1 Actually, I'd like to check that later. Now that we are practicing. So, but is it O of N plus N? I guess it is. We can check it later. Sounds good to me. Um, sounds good. The code is not symmetric, but who cares? Um, let's check. Doesn't seem to have a problem here yet. And then I want to say x dot. Yes, 
sounds very good. So it's working. Let's check if our ordering function is working. Very nice. Sounds it is working. Great. Let's try this one too. Dude, even a hard problem. This time I'm not using any built-in function, to be honest. Um, what is this? No, not searching. Sorry. At least works, except that it's not amazing, it's a slower code. I can make it even more, even slower. So we did. Uh, I can make it even slower by fuck that, I don't want to do that. This one, by the way, this is also a nice one. Uh, look, now I'm just playing with Python. I just have my solutions and I am just feeling free, carefree, trying different new ideas. Oh. We have an S for sure. If I 
less than j We have in on list one we have one two three in list four we have four list two we have four so i is one j is four right one is less than s is s plus one then assume also j is like four to ten uh, then this loops wants to repeat i again is constant which is one and j this time will be five we don't want to add another one so. If i is less than j, we have to break this loop, right? Um, so then i will be uh, 2, j stays 4, yes, I hope j stays 4, yes, and then 2 is less, s is 1, yeah? I is greater than J what we want to do is S is just S plus J because then J can uh, I like to have this J can uh, go in the loop while I is constant. I is constant. To be honest, I or J doesn't matter. Uh, I could give them indexes too. So, and then we wanna S. We will remove this line. then we use S here. So let's see, just let's remove What is L1? I is 1. 1 is less than 2. That's true. S is S plus 1, which is 1. Sounds good. We break. I will be 2. I will be 3. J will be 1 or J will be 2 or not. Alright. Um, So J is 2 in our assumption, I is 3. Nope, we should go J, I greater than S is S plus J, which is S plus 2. So we have 1, 2. Sounds good. Then, 
we are going again j next j is 5 i is 3 5 is greater than i so we want to say s is s plus 3 1 2 3 all good now we break we go back to i after 3 is 5 5 oh here is the here is the problem because j wants to start again from the beginning something that we don't want uh, can we fix it I don't care about it. Um, okay, we are done with a hard problem. Guys, we are killing it. Um, actually, they just have this label hard. That was not a hard problem. It was not a hard problem. It was not a hard problem at all. No hard problem. Okay, that's it. Let's uh, go back to our... Longest palindromic substring. Three sum. Wow. I like these problems. First of all, for today we can say we are done and we want to celebrate it with a counter match. Fuck this, yeah, we, we solved the code. We came up with a belting, non-belting, simple code that does the job. It got accepted. That's all I wanted. Um, so we know what we are going to do now, tomorrow is another day.
Where are they? I don't know. Shoot. Back to the game. Don't, don't, don't kill me, motherfucker. Yes! Let's go. <laughs> but it was fun, though. Where am I? What is? I'm coming. Oh, oh, oh don't kill my friend. Kendrick Lumber. <laughs> oh, oh, who killed me? Wait, I cannot. Oh, fuck. God, what's that? 
no way. Oh, I started in the middle of the game. Okay, well, let's set the timer. Ten minutes, alright. Fuck it, I wanna be counter. Uh, I wanna be. Yeah, counter. What's the wrong one?
Where are we going down? Park? With this gun, I can't go nowhere. Okay, I may go somewhere. Why? 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 Fuck you time!
guys that was fun see you again strong you know what I'm saying what am I doing what am I doing? I need to get better I need to get better oh guys Sun is not shining from this side, sun is shining from this side, but it's reflection from the window on this side of the building is just coming. Anyways, you know what I'm saying. Goodbye!